everyone and welcome back to the City Witch series. Today we get to go to Ginger Island and I couldn't be more excited. I could obviously teleport straight there if I really wanted to but I'm not going to do that just yet because I feel like taking the boat for the first time is one of those moments that you have to celebrate. Um, okay, I'm going to leave these potatoes here, I know they're ready but it just leaves the spots watered and I have no real reason to get like the tiny amount of extra gold that it's going to give me. Rhubarb, we've got five days. Now, what do I need to take with me to Ginger Island to be able to uh, prepare for it? I know I'm going to need all my tools, so I'm going to bring my watering can. I've got my fishing rod. Uh, I've got the slingshot. I could make some explosive ammo. I think that would probably be a good idea. I'll need my axe. Um, I'll bring my scythe as well. And then let's put everything else away that we don't need. I'm going to have to expand on all this storage soon. I've just got so much stuff now. Oh, we also got the fiber seed recipe from Linus, so we can start making those now. I'm excited about that. Got the energy tonic as well from Pam. I'm going to bring that with me. And then will you let us know that the boat's ready to go? There's some other stuff I need to grab as well. Um, what was it that I needed? Uh, oh yes, I've got all these sprinklers that I can put down on Ginger Island. And I think what I also do is bring a chest. I cannot bring a chest, I only have one wood. Okay, we'll go get some wood on Ginger Island, that's fine. Oh, look at all this forage. I suppose I could pick this up right now because I've still got an hour before I can get into Willy's anyway. Though actually, we should be able to make it to Willy's just in time. Ah. Let's get this artifact spot, and it was just a stone. Okay, that wasn't even worth it. What do you mean it's locked? Why is it locked? Oh, Zuzu block party. I didn't even know. Okay, well, let's head home first. I'm going to grab this piece of forage. I might as well try and bring the gifts with me. I don't know if it's going to work, but we can try. And I'll leave the rest on me for now, but hopefully Pam's still going to be on the bus. Ooh, there's apricots. Those will make good gifts. I'll bring them with me. Being an event, I don't know if I can actually gift stuff to people, but we can try. Hopefully she's going to let me take the bus to town. Yeah, she is. Today's festival's being set up. Come back later. Wait, what time is it on? Did I get a mail about this? Like, what? Hello? Maybe I got it last year, right? Uh, no, I think I'm going to have to Google this one. Nope, I have no idea. Um, okay, well, what am I going to do till then? I was so excited to go to Ginger Island. I can't do that. I want to go to the block party. That's not ready yet. I suppose that's not going to be till the evening. I suppose I could work on all the other things that we have to get done. Wow, look at all those tappers. Okay, I'm going to wait until these bottom ones are ready so we can sync them all up let's check in on our greenhouse as well nothing's ready okay great zuzu party has begun in the bus stop area what so now what happens if i try and take the bus oh here we are wow okay let's see if we can talk to everyone who are you these people don't look very interested in the party okay well we definitely can't give any gifts and i see that we have like a little star token icon at the top there let's find out what that means but let's speak to everyone first What's up, Willow? Isn't the band great? I mean, I don't hear anything. <laughs> Hello to Sadie. Hey, Willow, how's it going? I took a day off from flying to come here. Tourists come from all around for this party, you know. And we've got Sandy here too. Willow, what a nice surprise. I love coming to Zuzu City when the shop isn't busy. This party just makes it even better. We've got Emily. The energy at this festival is great, I love that. I come here every year with Sandy. She likes visiting Zuzu City. Now I just need to try and find anyone else. I wonder if Kristoff's here. What's this? Oh, it's Kel. And he gave me a downtown dog. We got a free downtown dog. Don't the burgers smell delicious? Well, I get to take that home. I wonder if that's got any cool effects. Oh, there's Kristoff. Oh, good day, Willow. I hope you're enjoying the festival. I helped fund it. Of course you did. Then we've got Selena over here. Hey, I'd love to talk, but I have some research to do right now. What are you researching? And then Buddy. Good afternoon, Willow. Nice day for a festival. Yes, it is. Now I see Star Talk. So what can I do here? Let's find out. First of all, let's go look at the shop. Oh, it's just gold. Okay, so Zuzu University jersey, the signature cocktail and a fedora. I just buy one of everything. I feel like we have to come home with some souvenirs. Maybe there's nothing to get star tokens off here. It's just for the, um, like using the screen at the Stardew Valley Fair. I think, I, unless I'm missing something, I feel like I've done everything there is to do here. Mainly just a way to be able to talk to people and stuff. So we'll have to find uh, a good way to be productive back home. I oh, was so excited for Ginger Island. That's rough when you get like a plan that you really wanted to do. How do I leave? Oh, exit. <laughs> do I just walk off this way? Yes, I have left. Oh, it's night time. I forgot that it does that. Okay, well, first of all, let's try on our hat. Oh my God, it looks terrible. <laughs> we are not meant to wear a fedora. That's so funny. And the downtown dog and the cocktails are just kind of basic food with no fun effects or anything. I suppose they can make good gifts. Oh, and I remember now that I actually wanted to make some explosive ammo, so I think I need an iron bar and a coal, right? Two coal. It's two coal. 
I think five explosive ammo should be enough. Uh, we only need it for that one walnut, and I'm excited to see how many walnuts we can pick up in a single game day. I want to get as far as I can with that. So let's get some sleep. Oh, we've got Vincent's birthday today. Do I have anything I know that he likes? He loves pink cake grapes and cranberry candy. I probably got some grapes. I do. I'll use iridium quality grapes. Make sure everyone gets a good petting before I go out and do anything. <gasps> There's a leak up here. I really need four more for George. I also didn't realise all our wine and stuff was done, so I should probably deal with that. And I also remembered I wanted to move all of my kegs next door. I bet you can guess what I'm doing right now. Turning on animation cancelling. <laughs> I feel like it's got to the point where it would be wrong if I actually remember. Now we can finally get a bit more of the shed filled. And I should have enough to make some star fruit wine. And be able to fill all the kegs. Damn it, I'm like, for sure, okay. Oh no wait, I've got the other quality. There we go. I'm not forgetting the one outside as well to show us if the wine is actually done. Since I don't have the house upgrade with the basement yet, I am just going to go ahead and sell off that wine. We could definitely do with the money. Especially if we want to fill ginger island up with star fruit. Right, it's 10am so I should be able to go and see Vincent and then head down to Willy's shop. Let's get to Ginger Island ASAP. Oh, he's already at the library. I didn't think he would be yet. There he is. Happy birthday, Vincent. You remember my birthday? Thank you, this is great. That now puts us at eight hearts with him, so that's pretty good. Make sure I just say a quick hello to everyone whilst I'm here. Jazz too. And then now let's finally get on that boat for the first time. Oh my god, here we go. Find that ticket. She looks good as new. I feel like I never stopped to appreciate this cutscene before. The little tiny boat looks so adorable. I didn't realise that Ginger Island's actually a fair amount of uh, distance away. That actually gives me a good idea of how far to put it away in the Stardew Valley Expanded in Minecraft series. We got some really good luck with these artifact spots today. Hey, there's Leo! Oh, I'm gonna come and find you. Let's grab all the fibre from in here and we've already got a mummified frog, so that's a really good head start. I feel like having to farm for the fossils when you really need to is rough. And we're going to be able to plant ourselves a fair amount of mixed seeds and taro as well. Get our first walnut. That's so exciting. First walnut, what a moment. We'll grab the other one in here whilst we're here too. There's our second. Let's give a walnut to the parrot. The boy looks at you with curious eyes. He seems to have a close bond with the parrots. But he's too shy to approach you right now. Perhaps making friends with the parrots could earn his trust. Then that's what we will do. Let's start with the next one that's over here. Oops. I wanted to get all this five first. Cannot be leaving any of that behind. We've got a little one down here. And then I should have the north open up to me at this point. There it is. So I know we've got one down here. We've got a little hidden path over here. Somewhere down here is another hidden path. That leads us to the one that you can see on the beach. One over here. One over here. And obviously it'd be rude not to cut all the trees down. Need as much wood as I can get. A little buried one here. And then in this direction, we've got one here. Then we found a little hidden path that leads us to the one up here. Got one that's going to be in here. And then here's where the slingshot comes in. There's one in this tree. We got it. There's a hidden one behind this tree, which I suppose I could cut them down to reveal it. <gasps> we got a first golden coconut too. And then we head into the volcano. This is where you need the watering can. And before I go into the actual volcano, I'm going to go out in this direction. We'll get a couple of walnuts that are over here. We've got this little hidden door. We've got one here. And one here. So we now have 15 walnuts. I'm not going to do the volcano just yet because we're already at the evening. What I am going to do though is open up this little section with 10 walnuts. Let's get the farm area started. Out of our way little turtle. And here's our new little farm. So we need 20 to restore the actual house. And now we can go ahead and clear all this with our spell. And over here we've got our first journal scrap too. What's it going to tell us? Oh it's the actual one that's like the actual journal pages. I won't read through those. If you're in Ginger Island you can also um, read them if you're wanting to. But again, I am going to go ahead and get rid of all the trees. And then before we pop off home, I'm going to make sure I get all of my like taro and stuff planted. So I want to put my sprinklers like here. And then I need 11 spots for taro. You can plant these next to a river like rice. They don't need watering at all, which is great. And then we might as well plant our mix seeds too. I've only got four of them, but it's a start. I need a chest to store some of my stuff here. And then before we head off home to bed, I'm going to go and get all of the... Uh, the other walnuts that are here so if we break this rock got one here one here one here and then this guy you just try and water i forgot i need to get fences let, let me make some fences you can do it with an upgraded watering can but it is just a lot easier when you've got fences you can either just hit him with your sword or you can water him and he'll pop out the hole so we're going ahead and stick those in there he's got no escape now 
I'll we'll do it the water way. Thank you for the warner. A couple more over here, so we've got this one here and one in this little ship. And then we've got Birdie as well. Let's go speak to her for the first time and start that quest. Oh, a visitor? Come closer, child. I haven't had a visitor in many moons. I almost forgot what other people look like. Well, I suppose now that you're here, I may as well ask you for a favour. Come. Have you seen that wrecked ship on the south shore? My husband was the captain. A pirate he was. He set sail one day, never to return. It took me three years sailing the high seas to find his remains. Ew. I've been here ever since, dear. Guarding his bones. My child, if I could only find a keepsake of his, it would bring me such peace. Here, take this. It's an old photograph that washed up on the shore. It's all I have to offer, but somehow I think it will help you find what I seek. So now we've got the war memento. So moving up here, we've got another walnut here. And then if you keep going along the beach over this way, one more there too. Let's go ahead and kill all these slimes. Some of them might drop walnuts. We've got one walnut from all those slimes, and then I'm going to chop down all these oops, trees. And the reason for that is I wanted to reveal this walnut here. And there's one... Nope, it's not this one. This one. <laughs> if we go downward here. Got to destroy some things to get through. There's another walnut up here. It's 1am. I'm going to pass out finding walnuts. It's worth it. And then if we go back up from there, we've got a walnut just down here. And across the bridge, we have another one in this little spot. And then somewhere, there's a hidden path here. If you follow the little leaves, there's one over here. And that's all we got for the day. I mean, it's actually pretty good. Spreading weasel was damage to my farm. Right, take the green beans. Let's see if we can find this damage. I haven't seen anything yet, but I have found this leak. Is something over here? Did I forget a tapper on this tree here? I think I did. I should probably go fix that. I do think I had one left in here. Yes, I did. I'm going to leave the warm memento behind for now. We'll probably handle that one another time. And I have 153 mix seeds. I think I'm going to take some of those with me. See if we can get a ginger island farm planted up just as a start. Gives us some money to begin with. Right, where's that tree without a tapper? There it is. There's actually six tappers that I need, so I kind of got that wrong. There we go, all fixed. So now that we've done the boat once, I can actually go ahead and teleport over there. So we want to go to, if we take the island west, that takes you straight to where the farm kind of area is. And I missed this walnut here last night. There's definitely a few that I've missed here and there, but we'll get them eventually anyway. So, do we restore the farm first? No, I'm not going to restore the farm just yet. What I'm actually going to do is restore this bridge instead. There we go. And then let's go ahead and destroy some of these. And I th I'm hoping the slingshot is going to let Professor Snail out. Yes, it is. Thank you, I thought I was done for. I've been stuck in this cave for months. One more cave mushroom salad and I would have gone off the deep end. So rubbery. That would have been my personal nightmare. I don't think I could live off just mushrooms forever. Anyway, I'm Professor Snail. I've been conducting a survey of this island's flora and fauna for the last year. Truly a remarkable place. Well, I think I'll go back to my tent and freshen up a little. I'm afraid I smell like mushrooms. Ew. Hey, you should stop by the tent sometime. An enterprising individual like yourself could be a major asset in my projects. Hee <laughs> hee. Farewell. We've already got a fossil for him as well. So let's go in the mushroom cave first. Might as well just pick up anything that's here, because why not? And then let's continue getting rid of everything. And we've got a panning spot. We've got a couple more taro tubes from that, so that's exciting. Another panning spot up here. Copper ore. Oh my god, they're coming up really frequently. I wonder if we can get the lucky ring today. Nope. What is going on? Right, I've got a couple of journal scraps filling up my inventory. We've got another one of the actual journal journal. And another one of those too. I was hoping one of them would be ones that reveal walnuts on the map. Like, I know where they are, but some of them don't show up until after you've already found the journal piece. Which is kind of annoying. Right, let's go and donate the fossil pieces that we have right now, because they're taking up slots in my backpack. Ah, come in. Welcome to my field office. As you can see, it's quite empty. Getting stuck in that cave was a huge setback to my project. But that's where you come in. I'm in the bone business, you see. Ancient bones in particular. And this island is full of them. So if you ever encounter any bones, fossils, or mummified specimens on the island, bring them to my desk, okay? I'll make it worth your while. Give me them walnuts. Okay, first of all, let's uh, answer this question. So, the flowers on this, I believe it was 18. No, it's not. Okay, it's something else. We can try again tomorrow. Um, so in case you're wondering in advance without counting them, I don't know, I don't think I know anyone who's actually gone and counted them. The purple flowers are 22 of them, and the starfish are 18. So we'll handle that in the next game day. So, mummified frog. And we've got two feet. Ah, oh, now this is a truly fascinating piece of natural history. Thank you. So I should be able to collect a reward here. Whoops. Thank you for the walnut. And then we can finish clearing the other side. All right, nothing else new, but that's okay. Oh, panning spot. Copper and tarot tuber. Oh, we've got another artifact here, actually. Um, What am I going to throw away? Probably the algae. 
So now I've got 12 walnuts. Ooh, I forgot to go handle the ones at the top there. So let's go back this way. There's one up here, one over the bridge over this way. And then in this direction, there's a little hidden path that goes across this way. And we get two more walnuts over here. So now we only need four before we can open up our farm. Well, the house anyway, we can still plant stuff. There are more than likely quite a few that I've missed. We'll get them in time though. First things first, I hear a panning spot. Then I'm going to go ahead and till all this area and fix up the ones that I kind of messed up on. <laughs> so I'm not going to plant all of my mixed seeds. I'm just going to do maybe a couple of sprinklers worth. And the reason for that is I do want to save some for um, fiber seeds eventually. But I think that should do for now. We've got 12 more tarot tubers, so let's plant those. There we go. And then now it's time to check all of these artifact spots. We're hoping to get at some point the snake vertebrae. I could be resetting for it, but I don't really want to do that. <laughs> these little muscle rocks give them as well, but I'm going to use my pickaxe for these instead of my spell because I'm worried that they're not going to give the walnuts. There's one. Now I'm going to take a little tip out of Wickedy's book here and go ahead and track the walnuts that I've got from there. So if I take like the stone or something, I've made 10 little paths and then I know for now I've got one walnut from this little area from the muscle rocks. And you can do the same for like fishing and such as well. Oh, there's another artifact spot here. Damn it, we're gonna get so many omni geodes. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and chop down all the trees that we can here. We just need an absolutely unreal amount of wood. There we go. Ginger Island, at least this side, is now absolutely treeless. <laughs> let's see if we can get any more walnuts from these slimes up here. <gasps> and I think we've got our first pineapple seeds. Well, no walnuts, but pineapple seeds I'll take. And um, before I forget... Oh, no, it's this side. I want to head into this little secret cave up here and do this puzzle. This might take me a little while, but we'll do our best. Oh my god, did I do it? What? <gasps> I did it first try! I've never done that first try before. I usually spend so long in here. I think I just got really lucky today. Oh, I'm so happy. That actually puts us at 21, so we can go ahead and make our little farmhouse. There you go. Let's get the sleep hut. And then I think I'm actually going to go ahead and water everything. We might as well. I don't know why I tilled all these, because I can't actually fill them yet. I mean, I can, I just don't really want to use all mix seeds on that. I know. Let's go. And then now I can start working on trying to get the different types of fish that are here. So if we start with the freshwater bit, try and get ourselves a discus. Because you can also get uh, walnuts from fishing as well. What I don't want is loads of Jojo Colas though. My god. <laughs> There's our discus. And then if we go to the bottom here, I can try and fish for the lionfish. You can get other ocean fish here too. There's our lionfish. I mean, no walnuts today, but that's okay. Wait, does this spot work without the note? No, it doesn't. Okay. Damn it. It's so annoying that you have to wait for a note. Like, does someone bury them there and then bury the note and then you find it? Or like, like, I don't know how that works. Surely the walnut would still be there even if before you found the note. So what from in here can I sell? I'm going to sell the fossilized legs and the hand. I'll sell the amphibian. I brought some mushrooms with me I meant to sell. Right, I think for now that's everything I can actually sell. So let's get some sleep. Ooh, I'm going to move the bed. I like having the bed somewhere near the door. Just in case of like trying to avoid pass outs, you know. Oh, level 10 magic. Plus 500 max mana. Oh my god, 100%. 500 max mana. I want to see what our bar looks like now. <laughs> oh my god, we hit level 10 magic. This is a big day. So we have 1400 mana now. That's quite a lot. All right, checking on our crops. Not much to see here. So what I'm going to do is head on home real quick. Say hello to all of our animals. And then I don't want to miss a day of uh, not giving gifts to people in Zuzu City. So I'll go ahead and handle that. Let's sell this truffle first. And see what's in our mail. <gasps> Tomorrow we're holding the egg festival. Oh my god, we got our second egg festival coming up. And maybe we also handle the wild goose chase of doing the uh, war memento quest. But first let's gather our gifts. So we've got our cheese, frozen tear, emerald, and then our fairy rose for Sadie. I think I'm going to go ahead and walk to the desert today. Might as well grab any extra forageables along the way. We've got iridium quality cherries that we can use too. <gasps> There's a mystic node here. Let's handle that. Damn it. Oh, I've run out of inventory space. Oh no. Not ideal. I'm just going to leave the gold behind. Actually, no. We don't need loads of sap. So as usual, on our way past, let's go drop in and see if Cal's here. He is not. I mean, this time in the morning, a lot of people will still be in the apartments. Oh, there's Cal. Have your favourite cheese. Go give Gwen an early gift. Here you go. She's actually out of bed. That's surprising. She's usually in bed till at 12. Sadie's still at home. Here's your fairy rose. And then everyone else is going to take a little bit more hunting. Other than David, we know where to find him, but we will do him on the way out. I'm guessing Kristoff might still be in his... Oh, 
I was going to say he's in his uh, CEO office, but here he is. Here you go. I know some of my employees are underperforming, but it's so hard to fire people. Um, why, don't, why don't you just like maybe try and help develop them? You know, train them. They might thank you for it. I mean, to be fair, at least in that voice line, he showed some restraint of being mean. Maybe that's some self-development going on. Right, who are we missing now? We just want Buddy and Selena. I'm gonna go try at the pharmacy. I feel like Selena's one of those ones I can never find very well. Have a potato. I mean, we never know. Selena could be hanging out at the cafe. Let's see if she's here anywhere. I don't think she is. Wait, where's David? Oh, he's behind the counter. Here you go. Wait, I thought he loved cheese. Oh, well. Still a light gift, I think. All right, now let's find a safe spot to teleport from. Probably the cave. Oh no, I can only do it from outside. Well, the guy's not going to see me by the entrance. Oh no, these people might. Yeah, we'll go out by the road. Although actually saying that, I actually need to head to Pierre's first and get some garlic seeds. Let's teleport back to the farm. Sell off any of the random stuff that we got. Oops, I didn't mean to sell the horse radish. Kind of want to keep that. My inventory just gets so full so quickly. And then we wanted to head to find Kent, didn't we? So where's Kent right now? He is out by the back of his house. I'm gonna head to Pierre's first, just because obviously he leaves his counter at a certain time and I can run around and talk to people at any point. Hi Pierre, can I please have some garlic seeds? I'm buying five just because. And I suppose I should probably talk to everyone whilst I'm here too, right? Now where's Kent? Still out the back of his house, there he is. This is for you. Where did you find this? This man, we fought together in the war, Willow. He was like a brother to me, but only one of us made it back. He never lost his courage though, even in the face of death. A true hero, I'll never forget him. Thanks for bringing me this, it means a lot to me. Here, take this. It's been sitting in the back of our cupboard for years and we've never used it. The gourmet tomato salt, let's go see Gus. Ooh, we've got a cutscene. Hi Willow, I'm just looking over last month's earnings and it's not looking very good Willow. The worst thing, and I hate to say this because she's my friend, is Pam. She hasn't paid off her tab in weeks, but I can't ask her to do it. I know she'll get defensive and I don't want to hurt her feelings. Willow, you gotta help me. Hiya. Gus, I'm all thirsty if you catch my drift. Uh, well, okay, Pam. Willow, what's going on here? The saloon isn't doing well, financially. It isn't? That's terrible. Oh. Well, I guess I better pay off that tab then. Thanks, Pam. And uh, thank you, Willow. Now, let's get you that drink. It's always heaving on a Friday, though. He does still get customers, at least. But hey, let's give him this tomato salt. At least he might be able to sell more dishes that way. That sharp smell. That zesty taste, that gritty texture. It can only be gourmet tomato salt. I'll trade you for it. Thank you for the rose. Let's head to the desert. Let's find somewhere we can either... Oh, I suppose we could get the bus. Oh my god, everyone's coming into the saloon at the same time. I'm trying to do things here. I've got places to be, people to see. All right, let's take the bus to the desert. Maybe I could actually get some more starfruit seeds here whilst I'm here. Why not? I've got 200 seeds, so that's actually quite a good amount. Here's the rose. A Stardew Valley rose? That's so lovely, thank you. Whenever I miss the valley, I'll smell this rose. Here, take this. It's been on the shelf for 10 years and no one's bought it. You can have it. We got the TV remote. So I'm going to teleport from like over here. And I always go back to the farm because obviously no one can see me. Actually, whilst I'm out here, let's go check the traveling merchant. She might have like the um, wheat seeds that we could potentially need for the quest on Ginger Island. I say potentially. We definitely need it. Ah, oh, batteries. Do I buy them? Do I just buy them to have? Yeah, why not? We might as well. All right, let's go find George. And we got a cutscene here too. Oh my God, there's so many cutscenes today. I just can't reach it. If only I could get up from this infernal chair. Here you go. Thanks, miss. It happened 30 years ago. I was working in the coal mines. We were near the end of our shift, but there was one last scene that needed to be broken up. I went in there aiming to set off a stick of dynamite, but my foot slipped into a crack and I dropped it. The dynamite exploded on impact. That's rough. The next thing I remember, I was laying in the hospital and they told me I'd never walk again. So there you have it. You probably figured I was just too old to walk. Well, I'll have you know that I'd be sprier than a spring chicken if I hadn't been in that accident. You absolutely would, George. You've been really nice to me, miss. I appreciate it. When you're old, you start to forget that anyone cares about you. Poor George. Oh, I've got another cutscene? <gasps> An Evelyn cutscene? Oh, Willow, you're wondering what that good smell is. Why, that's nice of you to say. I'm actually baking my famous cookies. Here, why don't you try one? Yum. Well, what do you think? It's delicious. Thank you. I think I've come to know you well enough to give you my recipe. Just make sure to keep it a secret. Hey, got the recipe for cookies. Well, this is for you, George. What's this? Hmm, so you push this button first. What's this button do? Well, how about that? It's a new channel. Here, take this. It's a stone I found when I was a coal miner back in the day. Funny thing, it's glowed blue and stayed cold for over 40 years. Like magic. That's because it is magic. 
I might as well actually talk to them whilst I'm here. Oh, all right, we're good. Okay, to the wizard. And now that we know everyone's left the area, we can teleport. <laughs> Hi, wizard, this is for you. Ah, an actic chart. The most powerful substance, indeed, and potently infused with an element of ice. I'll take it if you don't mind. Um, you're still here. Oh, you want something? Take this. Thanks for the worm, I guess. And you know what? I've got a beach totem. I'm just going to use it. Although saying that, is Willie even at the beach anymore? Oh, he's already on his way to the saloon. I need to catch up with him. This is for you. Ah, oh, that's the perfect bait for a catfish I've been trying to catch. Here, let me trade you this for it. I'm not sure what it is, but it washed up on the beach not too long ago. Something tells me you could use it, miss. And there's the pirate's locket. So, we're going to head back to the farm. Then we can teleport. We'll go straight over to Ginger Island and give it back to Birdie. I think Pam's away from here now, so we should be safe to do that here. Island West. Let's go. This is for you. Just dump it on the floor. It still has his smell after all these years. That familiar putrid funk. Ew. You know, it's been a lonely life here, child, but I don't regret it at all. I'm doing right by my old man and we'll be together again someday soon. You shall live your life. An old woman like me? I think it's too late, dear. Besides, I like it here. It's relaxing and beautiful and I have endless supply of fresh fish, oysters and monkey meat. Monkey meat? I'm kidding about the monkey meat. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> now, how can I repay you for this? Woodnuts, please! Oh, how about I teach you a special recipe, something I discovered in the many years I've spent here. Oh yeah, the fairy dust recipe, I completely forgot about that being a thing. <laughs> you can take these too. Thanks for the walnuts. Though you're a stranger, you went out of your way to help an old lady. Bless your heart. Oh, bless her. We appreciate. Now let's get the garlic planted. And then I'm going to have to till and water all these uh, spots again. So we'll plant whatever star fruit we can fit here for now. I have got a couple more uh, quality sprinklers we can use in place. I think I've learned my lesson with the batteries and I'm going to make sure I keep a few on hand and not use all of them at once. You never know when you might really need them. So let's go ahead and use those sprinklers. Uh, there they are. Oh, and there's an artifact spot there. I need to pick that up. Come on, give me the snake vertebrae. Damn it. Okay, never mind. Right, there's everything tilled, even if a bit too much. Okay, that's going to fit pretty nicely. Just a bit more than a row. That's fine. And then I definitely need to water all of it. There we go. Nice and easy. Oops. Can't forget these two. We've got three more tarot tubes to plant. And then I think it's time for bed. We've had a very productive time with the walnuts. Let's go see how many we've actually got in total. Even though it's still super early, I still like to see how close we are to the walnut room, even though it's not very close. 46 out of 100. I feel like that's pretty decent. See if we can get a couple more out of these uh, slimes here. Or even if just one. <gasps> got a diamond and some pineapple seeds. I'll take that. Having the burglaring, especially on Ginger Island, is so worthwhile. You get so much good stuff from the monsters here. No more walnuts, but we got another pineapple seed. I can't really plant it yet. I think I'm going to have to wait until some stuff grows in the big seed area, but that's fine. And then it's time to get some sleep. Made a bit of our money back from some of the random things we found. But hey, I'm really proud of our initial progress on Ginger Island here. I think 46 walnuts is probably the most I've got like in a short amount of time. In the next episode, we're going to open with the egg hunt and then maybe we'll go and do a little bit of cave exploring as well. I'd love to be able to combine some rings and such and enchant some of our tools. That'll be loads of fun. We've got quite a few prismatic shards sitting at home, so they can be put to good use. Anyway, if you enjoyed the episode, please do hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much to my channel members, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Hello again! Editing Emma just popping in to say thank you so much for 6,000 subscribers. We've now passed this milestone at the time that I'm editing this, so I just wanted to come in and thank you all. Thanks again, everyone!